Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am starting my vlog today. We are at Volunteers of America thrift store. I decided it's time to go thrifting. But on my way here, coffee, it's hazelnut, Dunkin' hazelnut in a K-cup. Mm. On the way here, I stopped, oh, my allergies. I'm sorry, am I the only one dying from allergies right now? Look at my eye. It's not pink eye, it's allergies. Okay, back to this. I stopped at my produce stand for a green tomato. I'm gonna bake it this time, I'm gonna take you along. I got, ooh, some more zucchini to bake up and then I grabbed some jalapenos. I'm gonna make some jalapeno poppers. So I grab that. I have my fresh, clean mask out of the dryer. Mm, it smells good. And we are gonna go in. I think I'm like the only one here, so I'm gonna do some videoing. Let's go shopping. Do I need any shorts? I don't, not camouflage, but what I saw, I don't know what size these are. Are those adorable? I don't, that's a size 12. Do I need shorts? Um, no. Do I want new shorts? Maybe. Ooh, super excited about this. Not a lot in the craft area today. I was looking for some. Well, this is all scrap of paper. I was looking for some cross stitch stuff. But I don't see any. Oh, this is interesting. It's a pom pom maker, wooden kind. I have a set. That's interesting, though. And then they have kind of householdy stuff mixed in. <laughs> That's cute. A little sewing machine. Nothing exciting. Some yarn. But I have so much yarn. All right, let's move on. This is interesting. It's 99 cents. It's an association with the National Museum coverlet. Somebody stitched it, but I can unstitch it for 99 cents, and that's a fat quarter of fabric. That's awesome. I could back something with it or make a little hello. I love it. Okay, guys. It's the world's biggest spatula. That's funny. It would come in handy, I guess, if you wanted big old pancakes. I'm actually looking for silicone molds. And I don't see any. Although, those are cute. I have plenty, but... Oops, sorry. Cupcakes. Oh! You know, little tiny ones. A bread box. That's interesting. But not what I'm on the hunt for today. That's okay. Alright, I just came out of the Dollar Tree. Got the few things that I needed. I've decided, I've made a decision, <laughs> that I'm going to hold off on buying the big pack of cookie dough. Until later in the week, I'm going to be on the other side of town on Monday. And I will see if the GFS over there has the chocolate chip cookies. And if they don't have them, then I will buy the sugar cookie. I'm sure it's fine. I just want chocolate chip. So I, at the Dollar Tree, I picked up two of the bags of the chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, what are they, the... Betty Crocker mix. 
I'll just make up two of those, put them on top of the brownies. I'm gonna make a pan of them and not individual brookies. We'll have a pan, they can cut them up, share them how they want. I think that'll be good. And then my boss, boss lady, she thinks she's my boss. Oh, speaking of, happy birthday, Jaden. That's my uh, boss's son, Jaden. Love you, mean it. It's his birthday, yesterday. Anywho, I made dog sit for them, so she's gonna bring the pup over for me to love on for a couple hours while I do housework and clean and bake. And then she's going to take the food that I make and the stuff that she's making and take it over to our co-worker who's father-in-law passed away that's why I'm making brookies I don't know if I even told you I'm making brookies today I'll bring you along while I do the baking because I'm also gonna make they're called fried green tomatoes but I'm gonna bake them and zucchini well apparently Joanne's has the biggest clearance event ever so we may have to run in there after I'm running into Bath and Body Works because, no, I don't need anything of Joanne. Oh, do I need Joanne? I might need Joanne. Um, I'm running into Bath and Body Works because I need a candle. I'm out and they're half price. I try to get them when they're $10 or less, but I don't have one and I like burning candles. I bur So I specifically during this COVID-19 coronavirus went through my candle stash and I just burned up, uh, you know, not just burned them to burn them, but I decided to stop buying stuff and use what I had. So I went through everything, but I have a one or two, two possibly candles that are Christmas scent that I'll save for the holidays. And I burnt my last summer scent and I need one. So I'm gonna run in to Bath and Body Works. And then I guess we're going into Joanne, who knew? We'll see what's 90% off. All right, I did the brookie bars. These are not the individual brookies. And it's just brownie batter on the bottom and cookie dough. And if you see, I just dropped the cookie dough on the top. We'll bake it at 350 in a cheap Dollar Tree pan that comes with, the reason I purchased this, comes with a lid to take it to my coworker. So I always bake things on my pants. I gotta get some new sheet pans. These things are gross, but you know, sorry. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 350. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna guess um, 30 minutes, but we'll see. I'll check it at 20. And when it comes out, it'll be all yummy and cooked. And then they can just cut it. All right, next up we're gonna make keto bread. Good morning, guys. It's Lori. <coughs> I feel like doo-doo, which is why I haven't had any videos up. I haven't been feeling good. My eyes are goopy, head is stuffy, throat hurts, and chest feels a little tight. So I'm having a COVID test. This could totally be allergies. Uh, I could totally be have a cold. I mean, who knows? But in this environment, we're going to get tested. So I'll bring you along if I can and we can see what this is all about. Let me fix my mirror or my thing before we go. It's a drive through. They don't open for another 10 minutes so we'll see if I can get in line. Well, I found the place but there's a sign that says no filming or picture taking. Rude. But I'm gonna pull over here because <clears throat> <coughs> I'm early. I'm supposed to start work at 8 o'clock, but this is obviously more important than that. So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and uh, see what's going on. <sighs> Coffee. Soothes the throat. Alright. I guess... I'll try to video. We'll see. Well, I got my COVID test back. It's negative. 
I don't have COVID-19, although it's questionable what I have, because I did have a slight fever today, but could be a sinuses, allergies, I don't know, but this means that I can have my Hamilton party tomorrow. Sarah and my sister-in-law Ellen are coming and we're gonna watch Hamilton on Disney Plus and I will show you what I made. Now I won't be able to eat this but it's a sugar cookie base with homemade buttercream and then some sprinklies on top. One is for them to have tomorrow and then Ellen can take what's left home to her house for my brother and her mother and then the other one Sarah's taking to a cookout that she's going to. So there we have it. Super easy. I even bought the um, sugar cookie dough that was already pre-made and just smushed it into the pan. Delish. All right, guys. We are going to transplant some succulents. I found these on my Pickerington, where I live, buy, sell, trade site. I don't know what they are. It just says succulent grown locally. Um, the lady had purchased them for her daughter's wedding that isn't going to take place. So... I picked them up. They're very dry, delicate right now. They need soil and they need food. So I'm just going to loosen up this root ball a little bit. Nothing crazy. And I'm sitting it in the middle. This is a three pot um, little container and they all stick together. The food that I'm using, or the soil is cactus succulent soil mix. And it's recommended, obviously, for succulents and certain cactus. So what we're going to do is get them down in here pretty good. Packed in. We'll water everybody. We're going to put them in the sun and let them kind of do their thing. Um, you could put gravel on top for sure. I don't need gravel right now. Ugh, I'm making such a mess as usual. I should do this outside, but it's a little warm. And I ooh, prefer to not do that. Okay. So I got that one. And then later when the soil settles, I can add more soil to the top. Now this one here, all of the things fell off. I don't know if that's going to live or not. But I have a little pot here that I also put some soil in the bottom. I'm just going to fill it around it and see if I can't um, bring it back to life. All the petals that fell off are upstairs in a window. I'm trying to start those. I have a video coming out on how I took the seed or the petals that fell off. And how I'm going to uh, hopefully bring it back to life. Oh, that's a big knot. Okay, so again, burying it in some soil. Tightening it up pretty good. Leaving that little stub out, we'll water it. And we're going to see how that does. Okay, so those are two. This one here has some whole plant growths coming off the side. On this side here, there's two of them. So I'm gonna try my darndest to separate them. If I can get roots and all. And, oh, I just pulled it off. It looks like there's a root there. Maybe this one, and let's just see. I have no idea what I'm doing here, kids. But we're gonna see if I can't get that to grow, which I may not. We'll see. But anyway, I've got that root ball going in there and that in here. If it doesn't take, if that doesn't take, that's okay. I have other plants I'm getting ready. These uh, roots seem very shallow on this plant. And again, I have no idea what it is. You guys are coming along with me. I have another coming off the side. That's okay. Let's leave that one alone. I think we traumatize this plant enough. What do y'all think? There we go. And then we just want to get this in some soil and get this root settled in here. Right? And then, I, like I said, I can always give them more. 
I just got back from vacation and it's time to get these done. I should have did it before I left, but I ran out of time. And then I need to get this some more soil before I shove those down in the hole. And then I need to find a sunny spot. Here we go. And all I'm gonna do is put two holes together and kind of get them in there. Now I do have water. You wanna kind of give them a good drink. And the good thing is this soil is naturally moist. It's not that really super dry soil. If you had a mister, that would work too, but my spray bottle's upstairs. So we'll just give them a little drink. In a well in a well draining pot, if you're going to overwater, like let the water run through. If you don't have holes in the bottom of your pot, you just have to be super careful because they will get root rot. Uh, but this one does. So we're just going to try to get this soil moist. Give this guy a drink. And they're ready. Now when these start growing better, I will put more soil in with them. But for now, give these guys a good hearty drink. And then I'm just going to go stick these in front of some sun. Oh, see, it, it is a, uh, the water ran through, which is good. This is a pot that the water will run into its own tray, and then it will evaporate up onto the plants, which is what we want. So you see that water down in there? But the roots won't be sitting in it, but I know that we have full saturation. So I'm going to put this by my back door. I got my pool key and my new condo association rules and regulations. I don't know if they changed anything. Who knows? I don't think so. Tip. Ooh. She whipped out of there fast. Typically, um, we get notice if they change something. It's all about the pool and the rules of safety during this coronavirus. I had to sign a waiver that if I got sick, I wouldn't sue the association, that type of stuff. Okay, now we're going to the... I just exchanged a shirt I ordered decided since although I do have to work this week in the office but I decided since I'm gonna be home most of the summer I wanted a couple like sports bras instead of wired bras to wear whilst working at home and because you know like riding my bike and stuff so I picked up a couple but at Lane Bryan it was buy two items get two free so I grabbed two bra, like sports bra thingies and then two shirts and the one shirt I'm wearing, it says friends on it. I love it. The other shirt, is that thin, thin, thin cotton that you can see through. It's super cute. Like an ombre with stars on it. I loved it, but you could legitimately see my clothing through it. Okay, what are we doing? Are we stopping? Thank you. And so I, um, I didn't want to wear a tank top under it. It's hot. So I took it back. And I got just a plain navy blue shirt to wear with some pants I picked up. I think I showed you the um, red, white, and blue pants, leggings. So I grabbed a shirt to go with those. Done and done. Oh, and I picked up some socks. I need to go through my socks and make some decisions. But I have a lot of yucky ones that just need to go away. My Wonder Woman cup from Tupperware. So what we're going to do now, I have two errands left. I need to run through the car wash. The front of my car is covered in dead bugs from my two 14-hour drives. So it took us 
14 hours to get to Florida and back where we go and where I live. So and yesterday we got stuck in traffic. I didn't do a lot of recording. At the end, I'll show you some beach pictures, but I wanted to, you know, enjoy my family and be in the moment. I have a hard time balancing vlogging and enjoying my family. So, we're gonna go to the car wash. I'm gonna have to get a good car wash because I want these bugs to be gone and then vacuum out a little bit because there's dirt and sand and beach all over the inside of my car and then last stop is the grocery store I gotta pack lunches this week and I want to make that butter chicken again it was so good so I have chicken thighs out thawing right now and I have um, to get some spices and things and then I will show you maybe I already showed you that, never mind. And then I think I'm just gonna make like lunch meat wraps for lunch this week and some pork rinds or something for lunch. Nothing, nothing of any importance, just a quick lunch. I don't know how many days I have to go into the office. It will just depend on how quickly I can get my trainee up and running. So that's where we're at. All right, guys. I like some strawberries too, I think. Yeah, we need strawberries. Okay. Okay, friends. Whoo! I just left Costco. Whoa. It was a little intense in there. Not bad. I mean, everything was moving, but it... So I came. They advertised that they open at 10, but I'm pretty sure they were open at 9 today. Whatever. I got here at like 10 after 10. The line was around the building. I said, oh, no, thank you. So I um, ran over to Whole Foods, picked up a couple things, hoping that they would have like a meat tray, but they didn't. That's what I actually was here for. Meats and cheeses, I don't have a lot. I kind of ate through everything, which is fine. I, ha you know, I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't gone to the grocery. Nice tea. So I ran into um, Whole Foods, picked up a few things. I'll show you when I get home what I purchased. And then I ran over back to Costco and the line was gone. It's all in the same plaza. Line was down, no line. So I ran inside and if you've ever been to a Costco, um, it's a warehouse, it's a big store. So I picked up the meat and cheese that I was looking for, and more cheese, some meats, the things that I get at Costco anyway, and the line was all the way back to the meat department. So the cash register was at the very front, the line, but again, it moved pretty quickly. It's only 10.45. I've been to, I got here, so it took me 30 minutes to go through Costco and Whole Foods. So the line was super fast. I mean, they were like on it, so it was great. So that's done. I'm done. I'm having some my family over. Now that we know that I'm COVID free, they're coming over at one. We're gonna have, I'm gonna make a charcuterie tray. And we're gonna watch Hamilton. And by family, I mean my niece and my sister-in-law, her stepmother. And yeah, I'm excited. But I did want to bring up one topic. Um, I got a comment yesterday. Basically telling me that um, they were unsubscribing from my channel because I wasn't putting enough crafty content for them. And that's fine. I mean, that's, you know, that's okay. If, if I mean, by all means, you know, if this channel's not for you, and I know I've made some changes, but they're kind of life changes, if that makes sense. I'm not feeling very crafty right now. I'm not feeling very inspired. You know, we're in this global pandemic. I've been sick. That was terrifying. Thinking that I had it, you know, being tested, the social unrest. I mean, things are pretty heavy and deep right now, and I just... 
not that I don't think crafting is important because it is and I want to craft. I haven't knit. I haven't stitched on my cross stitch. Like I'm finding it hard to find my creative juices, if you will. I'm not motivated. I'm not inspired right now. I'm worried. I'm worried about our country. I'm worried about the health and welfare of those that I love, you know? So it's kind of put a damper on some of my crafting and I do apologize for that. I just can't help it, if that makes sense. So I'm putting up the content that I can put up. I do the month, the weekly vlog on Monday, which seems to be well received. And then I do a Dollar Tree haul on Tuesday. And then anything after that, you know, I try, but if I'm not feeling it, I don't want to force something because I think it would be terrible. So I hope you understand. And the crafting is coming. I'm starting to, you know, I got some ideas, but I just don't want you to give up on me. We will be crafting again. I picked up some things that I need to finish and then I will get a video up on that. So I just wanted to kind of pop on, let you know what's happening and that I'm here and I will still be crafting. I'm just having a hard time with my inspiration right now. So I hope you hold on and you bear with me while I work through this. And you know, hopefully when life gets to be a little more settled outside of my home, I'll feel more inspired. All right, let's get home and I will unpack and show you what I bought. All right, here's our Costco slash Whole Foods haul. So let's see what we got here. The cheese wisps were $9.79. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah. But there was a $3 off, what? Yeah, I saved $3 on those, I should've got two. Um, Jack Salsa was $6.49, apparently that's really good. The cheese tray, this big one here, was $10.69, but that's a lot of pre-cut cheese. Salami, the hard salami was $7.49, and the artisan, I think that, yeah. The meat, three meats, was $11.79, and the Polish sausage was $12.99. Now, they get a lot of this. This is Teton brand. It's very clean. Each one of these has less than one carb, and it's all natural. 100% grass-fed beef. Um, it's a really good product. Polish sausage. I like to grill those. Then I was over at Whole Foods. I picked up these crackers for my sister-in-law who's coming. She is a carb eater. So I thought those would be good with cheese. I got some kimchi, guys. Have you ever had it? I love it. And it was $6.29. So that's a little expensive, but it's delicious. The cheese tray was $6.59. So it's definitely a better deal at Costco. But I didn't know if I was going back to Costco, so I picked it up. It's not like I won't eat it, you know? The peanut butter was $4.99. That's actually a better deal than Costco. Nuts and salt. Only ingredient. And then some broccoli slaw, which is $2.99. So not too bad. At Whole Foods, I spent $22. The kimchi was a treat. Um, but, you know, that's how I roll. All right. Well, that was everything.